All right, this is going to be our first video in our DMZ survival series. And this is going to be a solo guide. So if you are playing DMZ solo or with the team even, it'll help either way. Our very first thing that we want to do is we want to get out of spawn like this spawn right here. Most likely we're going to get pushed from that team that's over that way. So my goal is to get into this vehicle and get away from here. Right now we're trying to do the client as king, which is complete eight contracts from eight POIs. Yep, here he comes. get killed here. Alright. I can't believe that worked. So like I said, you need to get out of spawn as quickly as possible. And what we're gonna do is, we're actually gonna abandon this vehicle. We're gonna go in the water. So right there you see the main reason why you want to get out of spawn very quickly. Now I'm thinking about using or doing a vehicle guide also. So like where people will chase you in vehicles such as a situation like that and how to get away if you're being pursued by a team that wants to kill you such as that one. Which that would be a good clip for that. Just basically using the water to get away from people. Because there's no way they could have uh they could have followed me across the water. So they kinda lost their chance. They almost got me though. If they would have landed some hits, see that's a team right there. That's a team chasing them. That's one guy. Okay. He's probably not gonna come back for me. Driving vehicles around the map is the best way to get around, but it's also really dangerous because you have that chance of a team chasing you. If you're not trying to do a mission where you're time crunched like I am, I would almost feel like avoiding vehicles as a solo would be your best bet. That way people don't know you're there. Oh boy. Bunch of bots right there. When you have a mission that you're doing, make sure that you focus on that mission. Ooh, scoop a mask. See, like right now, I'm getting stuck fighting these guys instead of being able to do the mission. But with them being all over the place here, this is going to be really difficult to do without killing them. Yeah, this is a really tough area to do a contract. If you can, stow extra self revives because that's really going to help you in the long run. So I will stow as many as I can. That and plates. As a solo, having self revives and plates is like key. Alright, so that contract's done. So something that I'm not able to do. I will recommend you do as a solo is avoiding hot areas like this. This is a hot area It's an area. I would not recommend a solo go to Unless you feel confident with your gun skill and your ability to stay alive Ooh, There's a lot of bots there I might lose the helicopter now That's a team Nah, I got him too. Well, pick so, up. That'd be so 
<laughs> Why would I pick you up? You guys came after me. <laughs> You better pick us up before you get down, bro. Nah. Because there's just so many bots. Players come up here. It's it's pretty bad. High Rise is another place that I would say stay away from. Unless you absolutely have to go there. Or if you're trying to do PvP. Oh no, he's going to kill me in the back. Put it. Oh no. This is why you have multiple self-revives. Put on another self-revive. This one's way over there. All right. I might die here without plates. Grab. I need plates. I will not be able to do this mission this time. So we're just going to talk about Tips to stay alive. Yeah, this mission is just not going to get finished because there's a team right there. And I need the full time to be able to do this. So let's hit the buy station here. This is another area that can be a hot area, so you really need to be careful. Especially going to this buy station. Don't really have a choice because I really need plates. And an extra set. Okay. So I bought a bunch of extra plates. Let's, yeah, see, look at that, right in the middle of there. So we're just going to go ahead and cancel that. Another good thing to do when you're in an area, something that I have not been doing, is try to avoid fighting bots. I've had to be kind of quick trying to do this uh, mission. So I can't be a little stealthy like I would like to be. But... If you don't engage the bots, you can actually listen because you might hear when the bots engage somebody else. That way you know if people are around. With how many bots are on the map, it's really easy to tell when there's other players around you just from listening to the engagements. Another good thing to have as a solo is make sure that you have a scuba mask. Because if for some odd reason you start getting pursued by another team, you can go in the water and it's really, really difficult to find somebody. This is why you should have a scuba mask right here. So they chase me, right? Ooh. They're right behind me. I can just keep swimming though. So that's like a must have equipment for a solo player is a scuba mask. Stealth is also nice, but I don't even worry about going and looting to find fests anymore. I just loot stuff off of other players. If I have to. Whenever I go on the map also, I look for any active UAV towers, SAM sites, stuff like that. Then I know that there's a team over in that area. So that helps to avoid teams if I'm doing missions. Alright, so now we're just going to secure hostage really quick. Let's see where it goes. 
course it goes way over there. Yeah, so when you're running around, definitely pay attention to what's going on around the map. So I listen for bots shooting. They shouldn't be shooting at me though. I try to avoid them shooting at me. There we go. If I see bots over there, I'll go this way. You know? Start learning where the groups of bots are. That way you can run somewhere other than where they are. Alright, so see right there. We know that there's a team fighting, or multiple teams fighting, possibly. So we're just going to try and avoid that area. Try to avoid bots shooting at us. Try to avoid anything that can draw attention to us. I say that, and then bots start shooting at us. Alright. It's, it is difficult to get the bots to not shoot at you, because they're all over the place. But, try to avoid them shooting at you, and try to avoid getting into long-term engagements. It's like, yeah, they're shooting at me, but if I can get away without shooting back, then hopefully I won't attract attention. That is the ultimate goal, is not attracting attention. Definitely avoid those high, uh, high traffic areas like high rise. The only way, the only reason I go to high rise is to fight. Oh, this is hydroelectric. Is to fight, basically do PvP. It's the only reason I go there. So this one's gonna count as hydroelectric, which sucks. Yep. Look at that. You can clearly see that somebody's up there. Tracer shooting, everything. Somebody is exfilling now. You see the exfil helicopter. So that person up there probably was shooting at them. You'd be careful because they might look this way. I'm within range of them being able to jump on me too, so I need to be quick with this, uh, this HVT. This is actually really good because it's underneath this bridge. That should keep me concealed. So you see how I saw that person? And I could have went right out to where they would have seen me, but I backed up. Into cover where they couldn't see me. And now I'm gonna push back out. So definitely know where your cover is. Use the water. Like I am. Definitely use the water. Water is a big advantage. Oh, it's going to take me up there, isn't it? I don't want to go to high rise. I said I don't want to go to high rise. Why is it going to take me there? Notice I'm looking up at high rise because I know people is up there. So I'm making sure I'm looking. Yeah, it's, it's going to make me go up to high rise. Alright. Yeah, let's just focus on getting out of here at this point. So we're looking high rise. Pretty sure these guys are gone. But still best to check around. We're just kind of looking... See what's going on around us. Looking around, listening. We don't want any surprises. Surprisingly, it's kind of quiet. Alright, where's this exfil? This exfil's here. If 
if you want to be really safe, taking a personal exfil is going to be your safest bet to get out of here. Going down. I have no plates, so this is actually really dangerous. Oh, hey. That helps. Alright, so I called an Exfil, right? And I didn't just stay at Exfil. I'm looking around. I'm listening. I'm staying in as much cover as I possibly can. And then as soon as it lands, I'm gonna push it. Getting shot at. So we're gonna pop smoke. Pop smoke. And we're out. I wonder if it was team up on high rise. Let's find out. Yep. 